DBZ Card Strategy here with another local match. This one wasn't too long ago. This is me and my buddy Justin having a good, strong, ugly fight. Uh, he built something we hadn't necessarily seen a whole heck of a lot of at our local events. It would be PyCon. Now, PyCon, you'd think, would be a, a natural to look, for, look towards, almost like in the way that Goku sort of took over the meta. You'd think you'd think PyCon would have been an amazing force like that. I roll Snake Eyes, so I don't get the win the roll. Uh, I'm doing what I would call hot slots. <laughs> this is where I have an existing deck, and I place a different character into it just to see how well it runs. So Justin wins the roll. He's going to go ahead and go first. This particular build is exactly the uh, Gohan Orange Adept build, just with Tien slotted in, just to see how it performs. Okay, uh, Justin's going to draw his three, power up Pycon. And it looks like he's not going to enter in on his first combat because it looks like he's got uh, two energy attacks and an energy block. So he's going to go ahead and pass, rejuvenate the energy attack. Okay, he went over to me, and I get to draw my three. Okay, it looks like I've got a couple of different choices in my hand. My apologies, I'm looking right at my own hand. It's not necessarily all that clear as to what I'm holding on to. I believe I see a traveling punch. <laughs> well, we're talking about, of course, having uh, Justin having a card advantage over me and whatnot. So I do pass. I do rejuvenate a re refocus. And then it you the start <laughs> he was asking me what my power actually does. He's got four different cards. He's got Black Command. Looks like he's got Black Dash. Okay, he's going to go ahead and declare combat. It's going to go back over to me. Uh, rather, I get to draw my three in response. I don't have a whole lot to work with, but I could probably make make something good out of this. Okay, he's going to throw a black dash at me, raise his anger two levels, not too bad. Uh, Justin hasn't fought a weak character in a long time. He forgot what it's like when I'm at 3,000. Ooh, I take a six hit, uh, six power stage hit right off the bat. One power stage or two power stage above zero. Okay, I actually don't pack any allies in this particular build because, like we said, this is set made for somebody else entirely. You can go and take through the take a look through there. You remember real estate, of course. The uh, he still has the option to search even if there would be no valid targets for Black Dash. Now, you black players, of course, are going to use this as an invaluable opportunity to scout the opponent's deck. Because, you know, black, the whole point of black, not the whole point, rather, excuse me, the focus of black, it, oh, uh, we need to shuffle my deck, I was going to say, sure, but I didn't pass doing that. Uh, black, of course, you need to become a, uh, a master tactician. You need to spend absolutely a ton of your time getting to know your opponent's deck and their overall strategy. Okay? Okay, I lower his anger one level using left punch, orange left punch. It's uh, two power stages, one from it and one from the mastery. I, I, my apologies, it looks like we missed that. And it is successful, so I'm going to activate the instant ability that comes through the mastery, searching out a drill, and make sure to bring it into play. Uh, an easy target, especially early on here, is going to go ahead and, oh, gee, checkup drill. I guess I'm trying to fix a bad hand. So checkup drill, of course, when it enters play, I get the opportunity to pull out a... Uh, there we go, a block. I'm going to go ahead and grab a uh, quick dodge. You know, a better choice probably would have been uh, distracting drill. Not really sure why I went with that. I guess I was worried enough about taking damage this combo. And of course, left punch is left there to, because it's left in play. And throw a black lunge at me. It's an AT plus four life card physical, which really would have wrecked me had I allowed it to hit me. I gained five stages from the effect. Uh, and of course, everything's minus one power stage of damage for the remainder of combat. That is prevention, not modification. I have learned that recently. Okay, throw the second shot of uh, left punch. 
Okay, now I remember to hit him with the proper amount of stages. Hits him with three total stages. One from it, one from Jacob Drone one from the Mastery. Well, let's, let's use this and go overhead burst. He's going to throw a black overhead burst, raise his anger two levels, and stop with orange concealment. All damage from my attacks is now, uh, oh, it's now unpreventable from my physical attacks. Yeah, throw orange bicycle kick. Lower his anger one level, or two levels. And I finally knocked him down to my level. He technically would have been below me, but it wouldn't have made much of a difference. Okay, where a physical attack is going to hit him. It's going to be pretty substantial and no endurance. Yeah, hit him with a pretty monster size hit with the bicycle kick and then go ahead and quits his anger down. Not too bad at all. I, hit my, I get hit with a one life card uh, energy attack. He gets to go ahead and rejuvenate a card in his discard pile. Okay, he's going to go rejuvenate the uh, Hyper Tornadoes, if I'm thinking the right thing. Darn it. Proving yet again, I needed that uh, distraction draw. I just banished it for TN's power, banished the top card of my life deck. I'm going to go ahead and grab a TN's Tri-Beam. John's asking a pretty reasonable question here. He wants to know why in the world I have TN slotted into this Gohan deck. Uh, the reality is, um, the Gohan build is actually, you know, for Orange Adept, is pretty darn strong and consistent. My one thing is, um, he just wanted to know, is it set up to take advantage of Tien's, you know, uh, blowing up the his own deck? Oh yeah, Justin might have another action in him. Okay, he's going to go ahead and Mastery Black Conflict. He's going to go ahead and Black Command. He's going to use it. It's going to be discarded. So I get to activate it. No power stages needed. Very, uh, then, of course, Justin destroys the top two. Four life cards, two power stages, so not too bad. And he does have regular endurance now because you remember uh, concealment only affects my physical attacks. Okay, I'm going to use his ability again, raise my anger again, destroy the top two cards of my life deck, destroy the top two cards of uh, Justin's deck, and then he's going to take four life cards. And that one's that. I got, I got the hit effect off of it, so I got the two shots. I might be out of actions. Okay, I think right here I actually messed up pretty big. I had checkup drill in play, and I didn't actually use the uh, checkup drill at the end of combat to go ahead and rejuvenate uh, two cards from my discard pile, or the top two. Oh, that would have done do one of those tri beam self damage. Ah, oh, that is going to cost me. Pass rejuvenated Tien Strybeam. He goes back over to Justin. Justin's going to go ahead and give PyCon some power stages. He doesn't like what he sees. He's going to go ahead and pass rejuvenate another Black Dash. He goes back over to me. I'm going to go ahead and place a joint restraint drill into play. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and declare combat, even though it might not be the greatest idea I ever had. Okay, with Tien's power, saving kick is banished. I get to pull out the tri-beam that I rejuvenated, even though there should really have been two because of that rejuvenation that I missed. Yeah, he's going to black schematic, raise the anger two levels. He's going to search my deck for a, I want to say a drill, and he's going to go ahead and gain control of it. 
it's pretty handy because you don't have to do any kind of uh, what's that word? That's a possibility. Uh, you don't have to do a, it. Doesn't have to hit. He's eyeing my disaster drill. There's not a whole lot of drills left in there besides that. There's that too. Distracting drill, boosting his AT. In fact, this is a massacre rarely seen even by Saiyans. <laughs> Just showing John my ham. He does end up grabbing disaster drill out of my deck. Ain't a bad idea. Beans, cheese, and meat, sir. Bread too. You better get in there, sucker. Oh, we usually, like you said, we usually eat on Fridays. Yeah, I get to shuffle my deck. And it goes back over to me action-wise. I got a couple of different moves up my sleeve, some neat stuff to go. I think I even debate this entirely too long. I blow up <laughs> good old uh, uh, checkup drill and... Joint restraint drill. Remember, I uh, makes uh, this particular attack become unstoppable and unpreventable. He takes a stage and life card damage and cannot use any endurance. Wait, do not tell me I just let him get away with using endurance. Oh my gosh! Oh guys, I'm 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 getting really like feeling ashamed that I let him, you know, do that. Um, I let him use endurance on an unstoppable, unpreventable attack. I know we had a lot of matches that day, but my apologies. This is uh, that's two significant misplays. Really embarrassed. Okay. Okay, I rejuvenate up to three drills from my discard pile. Rejuvenate the two that I discarded. Remember, this card says whenever you rejuvenate a drill in combat, uh, this intimidating drill, I get to go ahead and draw a card. And draw the bottom card of my discard pile. Yeah. So I got a bunch of cards there. Like we said, I I messed up with that uh, tank barrage. Okay, I take the one life card from his level one energy attack. Black Schematic is going to, of course, get rejuvenated using Pycon's power. Not a bad choice. He's back over to me. And at this point, I should probably go ahead and uh, throw Traveling Punch because I might blow up more drills during the course of this combat. Uh, I really shouldn't have done that. I really should have saved it. So my, my apologies, that is slightly out of order there. No drills to, to target to rejuvenate. He is going to stop it with catch, raise his anger two levels and, and level. Okay, and then of course my disaster drill does make its way back to me. He's at 10 power stages, so not in a bad position whatsoever. And this is Justin's action. He looks like he's got an energy attack ready to go. Use Pycon's power to rejuvenate three cards, not a bad choice. Bam, bam. Um, I don't remember if that one actually says he can search out the three cards in question or if he just is a standard rejuve three where it's the top cards of your life deck to get rejuvenated or discard pile, excuse me, that might rejuvenate. So he's already done that, he's rejuvenated. Okay, he doesn't discard a card. Throw a, uh, throw a traveling punch. Oh, you leaping punch. Excuse me. <laughs> throw a six stage uh, effect from a uh, leaping, or excuse me, yeah, leaping punch. NFA drill gets destroyed. You remember, I can have that happen. And, and that hit him, but apparently I forgot to use the mastery. Oh, okay, good. Whew. I thought this whole thing was just a long series of ridiculous misplays.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring checkup drill into play, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out a, a block for that. Hope I have the sense to pull out an energy block, but I, I think hands down I'm going to pull out a physical block because I'm a doof. And there it is. Aura refocus makes an appearance, even though no more physical attacks will make their way out in this combat. At least not from just now. Okay, he's going to go ahead and cut my deck after the search. He's going to go ahead and fire off an energy attack. The black lining burst is going to come out, raise the anger two levels. Or oh, one, one level? Okay, I take the uh, damage from the effect, taking a total of three life cards. I finally realized that I never did use uh, checkup drill during the course of that one. Okay, I blow up my drills for the next tank barrage. And I destroyed my drills. Leaping punches effects been used. Three life into a power stage. That's, oh my gosh, two times in one game. Oh, guys, you can't see me, but I'm I'm blushing red here. In fact, I'm letting him take all these hits that are unstoppable and preventable and just letting him get away with it. Oh my gosh. So, so far, that puts me about five, six, five to six cards behind because I just let him do that. Let him get away with it. And then I do that, I destroy the top two, he destroys the top two, raise my anger one level, and it would be four life cards, four life cards in the power stage. So four life cards in the stage, it hits, it gets the ability to be used again. Raise my anger, destroy the top two, destroy the top two. And then five life cards total. And you may wonder where that five's coming from. He's already at zero. That power stage coming in from Orange Adept should be doing that. Okay, uh, combat ends. I had dr uh, drawn Justin in. He should be six cards down from where he's at. This should be a much closer race than he should be, or than it is currently. That's Black Choppy drill to play. Not a bad choice. Looks like he's got some pretty decent attacks there. The hard part here is he doesn't necessarily have enough to press an advantage. He passes, rejuvenates. A physical attack goes back over to me, and I draw a distracting drill, which ain't too bad. Okay, do declare combat. Not a bad idea at all. Okay, Tien's power banish the top cards. A quick dodge, unfortunately, with my relatively few blocks that are in my deck, so it does leave. Okay, and I get grab Tian's tri beam with the effect. And it goes over to Justin. Okay, he gets black vehicle toss. Like I said, that's a pretty substantial attack. Uh, stop with refocus. It looks like I've got a couple of different choices. I'm not sure why I wouldn't have grabbed checkup drill there. Maybe I already rejuvenated. All of a sudden, I'm drawing a blank. So I put disaster drill in play. Don't really need it. Not sure what I was trying to do there. Android Rising Punch got four anger. Okay, so I get to banish the top card and discard pile because the effect of chopping drill requires me to banish the top and discard every time I do attack. Red stop, or excuse me, black stop. And he's going to go ahead and take a look at my hand. I do. It's till the start of my next turn, so. I got you. So it looks like I'm packing a bicycle kick in ATN's tri beam. Did I just transform off of that? Oh yeah, I already had three anger when I first threw that. Uh, it would be one anger from Rising Punch, one from Disaster Drill. Sadly, I did level, and sadly, it. Uh, uh, I was gonna say, and sadly, that wouldn't have uh, went exactly that way. Okay, I'm level two Tien, which ain't too bad. It's kind of neat, I guess. So he's got a couple of big moves up his sleeve, which ain't a bad idea. Okay, Rage Blast. He's going to raise his anger two levels. 
Well, no, no, it's, this is style. Oh. This is not. So it's going to do five life, one stage. Okay, five life, one power stage with the vehicle toss uh, attach effect. Uh, this particular deck is not known for its endurance, so I genuinely take uh, take that one, and it destroys my. Not destroys, but it takes a little bit of my. Uh, I have no endurance. I throw a bicycle kick. It lowers anger two levels. Okay, he's he's at zero. You thought you'd never see Tian muscling a guy. So I have a base of three. Makes eight off a bicycle kick. Nine power stage physical. Again, we should have been, like we said, quite a bit closer. And I managed to crit him, even with nearly every single card having endurance on it. It's pretty impressive. Okay, I'm going to re rejuvenate Tien's Tribeam because I just critted him with a level 2 ability, which ain't too bad. Oh, we miscalculated slightly. We did not add the plus one uh, life card damage from Tien's uh, level one power. So I got to banish a card for attacking, where I threw Bicycle Kick, and that's where I'm going to look at that. He throws Black, uh, black Lunge. Okay, he's going to go ahead and discard the Mastery. But for the Mastery, he gains the power stages. Okay, a chance to try B, raise my anger one level, lower his anger one level. Five life cards in a power stage, so six altogether, so he's a little zero. Oh, no. Okay, five life cards. He hits, I get to use it again. Okay, I'm sure the top two is anger to take, make him take a power stage. And he takes five life cards. And see, guys, I actually would have just killed him. That would have been just enough. If you look at his deck, he doesn't even have six cards there. Well, he might have uh, six on the nose. Okay, he rejuvenates a few cards. Okay, he's going to go ahead as an action. He's going to go ahead and rejuvenate some cards. Where's my non-existent anger? Raises anger to three. Not, not a bad idea. Rejuvenate time. Looks like a couple of different cards. So, yes, this has been an interesting match. Uh, two gigantic misplays. Definitely steered the things in the wrong direction. And now it goes over to Justin. And he draws his three cards. He's got a black schematic. And I can't see what else he has in his hand. Okay, he's going to pass Rejuvenate Black Schematic. There was one right under it, so it looks like he didn't even move a card. Okay, he goes back over to me. I put a Joint Restraint Drill into play. That leaves me with two cards, and I probably am not going to go in on two cards. I have a Saving Kick, and I'm not sure what the other card is in my hand. I can't quite see it. Okay, pass and Rejuvenate Saving Kick. I'm not sure what I held on to. Yeah, he goes back over to Justin. He's going to draw his cards. And here's the funny thing, guys. If you think about it, how he's still alive with all those uh, rejuvenations and everything, he would have accidentally just drawn out had I actually remembered to use the rest of those abilities. Okay, he's going to go ahead and draw me in. He's going to use the PyCon ability. Ain't a bad idea. 
Oh, no, no, I mean as far as, you know, what's Python ish cards to me. You know, Thunder Flash and stuff like that. I pretty much chewed it all my Thunder Flash. I was going to say, I don't think there's too many left. Okay, so you go ahead and rejuvenate dismissal, energy attack. There we go. Blinding. There we go. They've all been rejuvenated. Yeah, throw a leaping bash. There we go. I got to banish, of course, with chopping drill. That still remains in effect. I'm not sure why I didn't attack his anger. It seems like it'd be a wiser thing to go after his anger at this point. Okay, rejuvenate disaster drill. And it is going to do two or three stages and four or five. I hit him with a five power stage physical. Four stages well, yeah. Four stages? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's oh, no, six, sir. Five. Five power stages of the life because of Tien's level level two power. And on hit, I get to rejuvenate a banish drill. I'm not sure if I even have one in there. There it is, the distracting drill. I got banished very early on. I remember that now. Okay, goes back to me. Or goes back to Justin, rather. Oops, I haven't played with my hand. Is that done? Yeah. Oh, gosh, that's how out of it I am. I don't remember how long Black's, uh, Black Stop's been done for a few turns. Yikes. No kidding, I was making those mistakes and missing stuff. Good throw up. Thunder Flash. Okay, he is going to go ahead and level off the effect. Like I said, I foolishly didn't target his anger. Not really sure what the heck was the point of that. Okay, chopping drill goes away. Okay, he's going to go ahead and search my discard pile for an event and try to banish all of them. So, uh, this did inspire me to go ahead and create a good Tien deck. At some point in the future, I'm going to have to make sure that that goes. Okay, he's going to go ahead and discard, uh... I think I'd rather do that one. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, did you forget that Yep. Uh, Somewhere. 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 Yeah, the other one got used, and that's all that I can. But don't you have to search my deck at this point? Um, yes. Okay, he has a mandatory search effect to go ahead and see if, he ha if I have any more copies left. And I don't. So he d didn't choose the right card to try to banish the right event because there was one value, uh, one legitimate target left in the deck. And it's going to do seven life, one stage. Oof, seven life and a stage. That is significantly terrible. Yeah, Thunder Flash is going to rejuvenate one. And look at the hit I took. I'm not sure what I even have left. Take uh, take critical damage. It's pretty bad, pretty bad. No, no, I just, I just leveled. I was going to say, you should be at full. Yep. He's at full power stages, done goof there. I'm going to go ahead and throw a uh, leaping punch. Okay. And it's just going to do it. So a leaping punch. It's a seven power stage physical. And it does hit him. It does one life. I get to put a distracting drill into play. I do use, utilize the mastery. Okay, I knocked a uh, time right back out of him, so that's super neat. And we're at the very end, fellas. He's gonna, he's gonna throw a thunder flash. He's gonna lower my anger. Okay, six life and one stage attack here. I I don't think I have it in me to survive, fellas. If I survive this, I for one would be surprised. Oh, and I survive. I have one life card left. Five, six, seven. seven life cards all together. With how many? Seven? Yeah. And I had this much life left. Ready? No, six. 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 Watch how this turns out. So it's uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> he has one card left. One life card left. In my self-destructive ways and the fact that I couldn't seem to remember my own effects earlier really came back to hunt me. And John's asking a legitimate question that I don't have enough to be able to kill Justin, unfortunately, with the way everything balanced out. I done missed it. So my AT is four. So these are nine, ten, twelve power stages on the left. 
Okay, hit it with a 12 power stage bicycle kick. Dang, he had that many power stages to deal with and wicked it off in just a handful of cards. That was my last ditch effort. I had to punch a big hole in him, it just wasn't happening. I technically killed myself. I had checkup drill, forgot to redeem any of the Oh, I finally remembered about checkup drill. But apparently, during, I never caught my own uh, tank barrages being unstoppable, unblockable, unstoppable, and preventable. K Masteries. Destroys the top two cards of my life deck for... Ah, uh, you still overkill them by one. Ah, and I got killed by two. Unbelievable. Well, guys, it turns out PyCon can really ha handle his own, but you gotta, if you make mistakes, he'll capitalize and take you down.